ఓకే గాయస్ లెట్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద రీజన్స్ ఫర్ ద మెంటల్ సక్సెస్ ఇన్ హైబ్రిడేషన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్స్ సో వై డెంట్ ద నైట్ అండ్ గాస్ గాడ్ సక్సీడెడ్ ఇన్ ద హైబ్రిడేషన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ బట్ ఓన్లీ ద మెంటల్ గాడ్ సక్సీడెడ్ ఇన్ ప్రపోజింగ్ ద లా ఆఫ్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ బై కండక్టింగ్ హైబ్రిడేషన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ఫర్ ద పీ ప్లాంట్ సో విచ్ మెథడాలజీస్ యూజ్డ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద రీజన్స్ ఫర్ ఇస్ సక్సెస్ సో దెర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ రీజన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ for the success of mendel in conducting a hybridation experiment over the pea planter in that the first one is for the first time the mendel applied statistical method as well as the mathematical logic in order to analyze the results of biological phenomena so hybridization experiment is in biological phenomena or the biological process for the biological process he is the first one to apply mathematical logic as well as the statistics so as he applied statistical method and mathematical logic for the analyzing his results that was one of the reason for his success in the genetic experiment or the hybridization experiment second one is he kept accurate record of all his experiments so in science in order to accept any discovery or any the explanation or the any a process or the methodology or any invention means we need proof without proof we will not accept anything in the science so the mendel maintained accurate record of his experiments that is he gave all the details of how many number and how many types of individuals means plants are used for hybridization experiments so such information is very necessary in the genetic studies so which record he kept regarding his experiment means how many number of plants are used for the hybridization experiment and how many types of individuals are used for that hybridization experiments in order to propose the law of inheritance so maintaining a record or the record keeping of all the details of his experiment is also one of the reason of mendel success in hybridization experiment next is mendel experimented on a number of plants for the same trait for example so when he conducted experiment for the pattern of inheritance of a trait called as the stem height stem right he conducted that experiment on number of such plants so when he conducted the experiment same experiment on number of plants for the same trait so he obtained hundreds of offsprings of such results or such crosses or the such experiment the same experiment for the same trait was conducted over many plants so he obtained hundreds of offsprings for the same trait so what is the use by conducting the same experiment over many plants means so because of that one a large number of sampling was collected when hundreds of offsprings were produced same experiment was conducted on the many plants for the same trait then what happens the sampling size was very a large such a large number of sampling that gave credibility to his results so what do you mean by credibility means more weightage more weightage or more strength to the results of his experiment and also when the sampling size is large the chances of the error will be very less or when the sampling size is large there is a little chance of errors so this is the another reason for his success in the experiment that is a hybridization experiments carried over the pea plant and one more he tried to formulate the theoretical explanation for the results obtained means whatever the results he obtained during that hybridization experiment or the genetic cross he formulated that explanations so that 
these explanations were further tested further tested by conducting the same experiment over successive generations of the test plant of the test plant so he formulated the theoretical explanations in the form of binomial expression for example a plus b whole square or ax plus b y whole square so in this mathematical expressions of the binomial expressions form he formulated the results obtained during his experiments and the same explanations were further tested by conducting the same experiment over the successive generations of the same tester plants for example here one male plant and then the one female plant what is selected for the experiment when they produce us their progeny or the offsprings that is what the first generation so next generation means second generation and the third generation so whether they give rise to the same results or not that will be tested or that is tested over many generation of the test plant that is what the testing over successive generation of the test plant means then by this what he proved means so whatever the results he obtained and formulated the explanations that proved his results were pointed to general rules of inheritance but not based on the unsubstantiated idea means rather than being unsubstantiated idea or the hypothetical idea so it was based on the the results what he obtained by conducting the hybridization experiments so they were point to the general rules of the inheritance rather than the hypothetical or the unsubstantiated ideas andre avanu yenella results anathwa yenella loss of inheritance anu helda based on these experiments avellu kuda they were pointing to the general rules of inheritance andre general agi prathi ondu plants mattu animals ge apply aagtakkanta reethiyalli ittu ಅದು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕುರುಡು ನಂಬಿಕೆಯಿಂದ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಅಥವಾ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಸೆ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ದ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇವರ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ದ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಟ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಂಡಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಂಡಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ನೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೌ ಮೆಂಡಲ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಜೀನ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋನೋ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ so let's discuss regarding how the mendel conducted the hybridization experiment over the pea plant see the first one is inheritance of one gene or the mono hybrid cross so what do you mean by inheritance of one gene means the study of inheritance of a single pair of contrasting traits of a character for one character one pair of contrasting traits will be present so study of inheritance of a single pair of contrasting traits of a character or one gene one gene at a time that is only called as a one gene inheritance as this involves the cross between or the genetic cross made between the individuals that is male and female individuals considering one character at a time is called as a mono hybrid cross 
so this is also called as monohybrid cross so mendel crossed true breeding tall variety of pea plant the tall variety means how tall that plant will be means so it is of 6 to 7 feet remember this is very important for the neat examination the height of the plant a pea plant used by mendel for one gene inheritance study of one gene inheritance the tall plant or the tall plant variety was having a 6 to 7 feet height and it was crossed with true breeding dwarf variety pea plant and the height of that plant was 0 0.75 feet to 1 feet maximum such true breeding true tall breeding tall variety is crossed with the true breeding a dwarf variety in the pea plant by mendel that grass will be represented as for example tall plants which are crossed with the dwarf plants so as we mentioned the plants which were taken for the cross here so the plants used in the initial cross are referred as parents are p1 or p2 plants so they will be called as parents or they will be called as p1 and p2 plant means parent 1 and parent 2 plants but we know that one the p plant bears or it produces a, a bisexual flower or as the pea plant is self pollinating one as the pea plant pea plant is self pollinating self pollinating so in order to carry out the cross pollination so in order to carry out in order to carry out or conduct cross pollination cross pollination for the hybridization experiment okay the anthers anthers should be removed anthers should be removed removed from the female or from bisexual flowers of bisexual flowers of female plant female plant before anthers mature before anthers mature means here the single flower is representing or is having both male as well as the female part if the pollen grains present in the anthers of that flower are only get transferred to the stigma of the same flower that is called as self pollination but here we want to study what happens if the tall plant is crossed with the dwarf one so only the anthers before they mature should be removed from the flower of the female plant and this process is called as emasculation and this process and this process of removal of and this process of removal of anthers anthers from female bisexual female bisexual flower is called that is only that process is only called as emasculation this is called emasculation so what do you mean by emasculation are the steps involved in the uh, genetic cross uh, when the bisexual flowering plant is to be conducted means uh, first step is that removal of the anthers from the bisexual flowers of the female plant before the anthers matures so the first step is uh, emasculation so now here you can see the the process of emasculations so this is what so this is what the process of emasculation where the anthers anthers from the bisexual flower is being removed is being removed that process is called as emasculation the emasculation is then followed by emasculation is then followed by 
dusting the pollen grains dusting the pollen grains which are collected from the anthers of the a selected male plants anthers a selected male plant and that cross is now called as uh, the cross hybridization cross uh, hybridization is it clear so after emasculation what happens uh, uh, later the pollen grains from the anthers of the selected male plant will be dusted over the stigma of the emasculated flower or the emasculated plant so let's see that before that take a make a note of these points now so in order to carry out this cross hybridization the pollen at the dehiscence stage is a brought from the male parent means the pollen grains when they are about to get released from the anther so at that stage they are collected or brought from the male parent and such pollens are dusted over the stigma of the emasc emasculated flower that is called as cross pollination so here the pollination is controlled one and we are going to pollinate that stigma with the desired pollen from the selected male parent then after conducting this cross when the seeds were produced so mendel collected the seeds produced from this cross after collecting the seeds produced from this cross then what happened he grew them means he grew that seeds in order to generate the plants of the first hybrid generation because here the seeds were produced as a result of the cross pollination between the cross pollination between the selected male and female plant that is tall and the dwarf plant so the seeds produced by this cross so they were, they were representing what is that one first hybrid generation so when such seeds were grew to develop as a plant those plants are representing the plants of the first hybrid generation so this first hybrid generation is also called as so it is a it has a particular name it is nothing but the filial one generation filial one generation of the filial one progeny or it is also represented by just f1 so f1 means here the filial one progeny or the filial one offspring means first hybrid generation in a cross that is called as a filial one progeny or the f1 generation so then the mendel found that in the f1 generation all f1 plants they were found to be tall with the height of 6 to 7 feet as that of one of their parent that is the tall plant and none of the f1 plants they were dwarf so no f1 plant was dwarf and all f1 but all f1 plants were tall only so mendel got shocked by this result and he repeated the ex experiment by considering other traits also or other pair of traits among the 14 uh, traits or the seven pairs of traits each time he got the same result so before that let's understand this one let's understand this cross in the form of actual representation see now this is what the image representing emasculation of the flower first then after the emasculation then what happens the pollens from the selected male parent were dusted over the stigma then the seeds produced were collected they grew into the plants those plants are called as filial one progeny or the f1 hybrids of the f1 plants so all of them were found to be tall as that of one of their parent let's see how to represent this this cross okay uh when while writing that uh, cross how we how we have to write that uh, f1 or that uh, one gene 
hybridation of the one gene in a dense of the monohybrid cross. So before that, make a note of these points now. See how to represent the monohybrid cross. In that parental generation, which plants were used for the cross initially, they were called as parents or the parental generation. So the tall and dark plants are selected by the Mendel as the parental plants. When they were crossed, when they were crossed means means the one plant which is selected as the female into the stigma of that female plant. What is that one? The pollens of the male plant will be dusted, and when the seeds produced and those seeds were grew into the plants and they develop as the plants means uh, then those plants were found to be tall only all the f1 plants are found to be tall only so this generation is called as f1 generation this is called as f1 generation and these are parental generations so all the plants which were produced in the f1 generation are the filial one progeny they were found to be tall only so this is what the representation of cross hybridization and the progeny produced in that hybridization experiment then as mendel got shocked by the results that no f1 progeny were found to be dwarf but all of them were found to be tall as one of their parent then then the mendel repeated mendel repeated the same experiment the same experiment experiment for the remaining remaining pairs of remaining pairs of contrasting traits total how many pairs of contrasting traits he selected in the p plant means seven pairs in that he tested for the one pair of the contrasting traits that is tall and dwarf like that he conducted the exp similar ex same experiment uh, by considering uh, the one pair of contrasting traits at a time for the remaining six pairs of traits so what were the results obtained by the mendel okay so when he conducted the same experiment for the other traits uh, that includes uh, okay so nothing but so let's take the list of those uh, and the traits and which was the which progeny appeared in the f1 generation okay see this is how the mendel obtained the results when he repeated the same experiment for so in the first experiment when he considered the stem height as a character and conducted the a cross between the true breeding tall plants with the true breeding uh, dwarf pea plant variety in f1 generation all the plants were found to be very tall only similarly when he conducted the experiment by considering the character called as flower color and he made a cross between violet flowered plant with the white flowered plant in f1 generation only the plants were found with uh, violet flowers only but not but no plants were found to be with uh, white flower when the axial flowers containing plants were crossed with the terminal flowers producing uh, plants in f1 generation all plants were found to be with uh, axial flowers only but not the terminal flowers similarly when the plants which are having uh, inflated pod are crossed with a constricted pod then in f1 generation all plants are found to be with inflated inflated pod but not the constricted one means no plants were found to found with constricted pods similarly when the pod color was considered as a character for the one gene inheritance so in which the green colored pod containing flowers were crossed with the yellow colored pod containing uh, plants then all the f1 progeny or the f1 plants are found to be with uh, green colored pods only none of them were with the yellow colored pods similarly for the seed shape uh, all 
द एफ ऑन प्रोजनी वॉर फोन टू बी विथ अराउंड सीड्स ओके वेन राउंड सीड प्लांट फॉर फोन फोन क्रास विथ द रिंकल्ड वन नो एफ ऑन प्रोजनी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड विद द रिंकल्ड सीड्स वेन द सीड कलर कैटर इज कंटेन फॉर द करेक्ट सॉरी कंसिडर फॉर द क्रास and yellow seeded plants were found uh, crossed with the green seeded pea plants all f1 progeny were found to be with yellow colored seeds only but none of them were with the green colored seeds so these are the results obtained so in each time what happens here only one of the character or the one of the trait of the character of parents appeared in the f1 generation but the other fail to appear in the f1 generation so each time we got the same result here that is only the dominant characters appears in the f1 generation so this is how in each case in each case the results are the result was same same so what that that is only one of the parental one of the parental trait trait appeared appeared or expressed expressed in f1 generation in f1 generation the other is fail to appear in the f1 generation see one of the parent here one of the parent is tall and all f1 progeny was to, or found to be tall one of the parent was violet and all f1 plants flowers found to be violet one of the parental plant is having axial flowers and all f1 plants are found to be axial flowers one of the parental plant was found to be with inflated means a smooth pods and all f1 progeny were also found to be with inflated pods only one of the parent is having parental plant is having green pods and all f1 progeny were with the green pods only like that the rounded seeds and yellow colored seeds are also appeared as one of the parental character in the f1 generation okay so this is what the mendel observed okay when he carried out the same experiment that is mono hybrid cross of the one gene inheritance for all the selected seven pairs of traits but mendel didn't stop here he further continued these experiments okay in order to see what happens if the cross is continued for the next generation let's see how that cross is continued and what was what were his conclusions based on this experiment before that make a note of these points now so so when mendel self crossed all the f1 plants obtained that is both tall and dwarf plants were obtained in the next generation such generation is called as f2 generation or offsprings obtained in the as a result of the f1 plants are crossing self crossing of the f1 plants are called as filial 2 progeny are represented as f2 means when the f1 plants are self crossed or the self pollinated they produces the offsprings those offsprings are called as filial 2 progeny or the f2 and the proportion of the plants obtained in the f2 population were found to be that is 3 by 4th of them were tall and 1 by 4th of them were dwarf what is the meaning of that one if four plants were produced as a result of self crossing or the self pollination of the f1 plants means out of these four three will be tall and one will be dwarf so this is what the proportion of plants which were obtained in the f2 generation or the f2 population found to be in the f2 population so let us understand this with the help of the representation now see when the mendel crossed pure tall plants with the pure varieties of the dwarf plants then as a cross between them he obtained only the tall plants in the f1 generation so in f1 generation 
all the plants which were obtained were found to be tall only when such tall tall plants were subjected for selfing or the self crossing means the same tall plant of the f1 generation was self crossed so that we need to write it two times that is itself is a male parent itself is a female parent then it produced then it produced offerings in those offerings three are found to be tall and the one of them are found to be dwarf so this is what the proportion of the progeny which were obtained in the f2 generation f2 generation so this is what the representation of the continuation of a mono hybrid cross till the f2 generation and this was conducted by the mendel here you can note down an very important thing that see the one of the character which disappeared in the f1 generation here in the f1 generation only tall plants were appeared none of them were found to be dwarf right but in the f2 generation if three plants were found to be tall but one of them were found to be dwarf means both tall as well as the dwarf plants were appeared in the f1 generation f2 generation it means one of the parental trait which was disappeared in the f1 generation was reappeared in the f2 generation that's what we said here that is when the f1 plants were self pollinated both tall as well as the dwarf plants were obtained in f2 generation in a proportion of 3 is to 1 that is 3 by 4 of them were found to be tall but 1 by 4 of them were found to be dwarf is it clear so so one of the one of the parental trait one of the parental trait disappeared in which was disappeared in f1 f1 is reappeared reappeared in f2 generation f2 generation and such a cross conducted by considering one pair of contrasting traits at a time is only called as mono hybrid cross and and the such a cross conducted such cross conducted by considering by considering one pair of one pair of contrasting traits contrasting traits at a time at a time is called that is only called as mono hybrid cross this is only called as a mono hybrid cross and what is the the phenotypic ratio of the mono hybrid cross means what is the ratio of the plants produced in the f1 generation f2 generation means three are found to be tall and one is found to be dwarf make a note of these points now see here one more thing can be noted here that all of springs all of springs produced in f2 generation or the f1 generation were but particularly in f2 f2 generation were either tall or dwarf but but none of them but none of them were intermediate none of them were intermediate what do you mean by intermediate means either they will be completely six to seven feet height or dwarf means 0.75 to one feet height but none of them were of intermediate height okay so means both traits appeared are expressed without blending means means both traits both traits expressed expressed without blending without blending what do you mean by blending here means without getting mixed means some 
character of the tall plant and some character of the dwarf plants are mixed and the up uh, resulting offspring will be of intermediate height so it will never happen i didn't appear here i didn't happen here all the traits were appeared without blending so as a result of that one a pure what is it either the plant will be tall or the dwarf but not of intermediate height when the same experiment or the similar experiment the mendel conducted for remaining pairs of traits then also he obtained the proportion of okay one of the parental character to the other parental character and that is found to be 3 is to 1 proportion only so this is regarding the mono hybrid across or the one gene inheritance studied by the mendel over the pea plant and in next class we are going to discuss regarding the various concepts based on this experiment before stepping into the two gene inheritance hope you have understood today's class thank you very much